my beautiful passions, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Passionately Taylor Marie, your favorite YouTuber. How are you guys doing today? Happy 4th of July. I'm filming this on 4th of July for so many reasons, guys. <sighs> we are doing an apartment tour. The first apartment tour, well, the first furnished apartment tour of my Nashville City apartment. And guys, we're coming back full circle because four years ago, I started my channel on 4th of July and I filmed an apartment tour. I was living alone in Cincinnati. It was my first like holiday, not being like able to do anything with anyone. I was kind of feeling kind of sad and I was like, no, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm gonna make my first YouTube video finally after all these years. So I just picked up my iPhone and I went around and I filmed an apartment tour of my, my apartment. I went on iMovie on my phone edited it and then put it up on YouTube like right after midnight July 5th and here we are four years later doing the same thing we're actually gonna spend the day together guys today in two videos first we're gonna do this apartment tour then I'm going to a lake we're gonna relax and hang out together so I'm very excited for that I just welcomed you into my apartment so here we are we're standing like right by the balcony right now, so we're gonna go back to the front door, and I'm gonna walk you guys through the apartment, and I'm so excited. I've been furnishing it like bits by bits this whole time. I've been in this apartment now for like 11 months, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Cool. Come on, let's go. Okay, so when we first walk into my apartment, we have this little coat rack right here, and I always keep my favorite purse right here, my Teddy Blake purse and then my sunglasses actually belong up here i'm gonna be adding more sunglasses up there and then if i'm like about to go somewhere i'll throw my things here so here's my ipad we're about to go to a lake here's my swimsuit and then i keep just like raincoats mulligan's leash just another coat this is also a raincoat my backpack oh my pixie mood backpack i love it my favorite hat, my NASA hat. And then down here I organize my shoes. My work shoes, my Crocs, my gym shoes, my Doc Martens, my favorite cowboy boots, rain boots, when pigs fly. <laughs> and then right here we have my favorite chairs. I sit in both of these all the time. The little throw blanket, some pins, some books that I'm reading, and a journal, actually a couple journals. It's so nice to just sit here and relax. Then right here is my couch. The couch doesn't fit fully together in this apartment, so I have it separated. Here is the other half. You will also see here that my couch is a little damaged from heat by being in the storage for so long. So I'm gonna get that fixed here soon. So I, I try to keep a little cover over it, like a little blanket or something. Right here I have this lamp that has a little table attached to it. And then right here I just have my little yoga corner. That's my yoga mat, that's my little yoga booster and yoga block. As you guys can see, my apartment gets kind of dark in some corners, like right over here is very dark and cozy. I'm gonna have to find some string lights to like lighten this up. I am gonna put string lights around my coat rack right there, so I think that'd be really cute. Let's go out to the balcony. Right here is a magnetic screen door. I have a little nightstand stand, I guess. I don't know if it's a nightstand. This is my plant, Ruby. We got this in a vlog together, actually, in like spring. I keep some gardening in here, wasp spray, some, another journal, and some random things. Then I have my storage closet that I finally got organized, guys. Back there, I have my suitcases. I don't know if you can see them all but one there's my very big one and then there's my little Paris travel size one and then I and then there's my little Paris travel size one and then I have my other one right my, that's my guess one that I've had since I was like 20 right there and I have a printer here here is some like workout stuff I have some weights like some ankle weights right here and this is a sweatband. I have 
a kettle ball down there and some other things. This is my toolbox. And then here is my other printer and they are both plugged in to my extension cord and hooked up. This, I just set this up and I'm so proud of it. And then all right here is all my storage bins. They, it goes all the way down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six storage bins right there. And then here's my Christmas tree. Here's some winter clothes and winter scarves. And then this is part of my heat press. So you'll see here, my balcony is pretty big and I love how big it is. Here's my nice little patio setup. This was actually left out on the side of my building when someone was moving, so I grabbed it and I love it. I'm gonna have an umbrella coming here soon. I already ordered one, but it was way too big, so we're getting another one and you'll see me set that up here in another vlog. This is my cactus. I've had him for five and a half years and he was already pretty old when I got him, like six, five, six years already. So he's over a decade. Isn't he so cute? I love him. I take good care of him. Here is my office chair that I waited so long to get. So I just keep it, I don't know why, but I do. We're gonna have some good summer and fall moments out here before it gets really cold again. So I can't wait for that. All right, let's go back inside. I forgot to tell you guys, we don't keep shoes on in the house. So let's take our shoes off. This is my decorative bookshelf that I just keep decor on. There are my roses, my Love Forever roses. They're so pretty, I love them so much. I have this decor up there. Signed Taylor's version. These are my Cincinnati jars. Reputation. And then I have my crystal bowl. Folklore. Meet me behind the mall. This was a football game I went to with my family. Those are my brothers and that's my mom. If the boot fits, buy it in every color. So guys, I don't have a space for my ring light and my tripod, so they just hang out in random spots around my apartment, like this. Here is my dining table that I also, like an office space. <laughs> That's a fake plant. That's a fake plant. Here is Mulligan's house. She's got some blankets in there and some toys and some bones. Dishwasher, guys. My first apartment that I started this channel on, I did not have a dishwasher, so I love my dishwasher. I love water bottles, and we're about to go outside for hours, so all my water bottles that I'm taking with me. This is the biggest kitchen I've ever had, I think. I love the layout. This feels bigger. I think it is bigger. I can't remember. This little rug under my dining room table. I feel like it really pulls it all together. Now let's go down the hallway. I have a hallway. <laughs> Here's my hallway light. Here's my vision board. I don't remember when I made this. No, I made this in 2021, the end. And I would definitely say, guys, my butt has gotten so much bigger since I've made this. My makeup, people compliment me on my makeup all the time. Eating healthy, lots of money, Zen life, Zendaya, because I'm a boss just like Zendaya. All right, now let's go to the closet. I hung these up. You have a small space, you have to get creative. So here are some extra purses for easy access. That's Mulligan's food, cleaning supplies, camera stuff, Mulligan stuff, blankets, anxiety blankets, sheets, towels, miscellaneous cords, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, and I keep like incense in here and this is my laundry stuff like tampons and stuff so i keep all of that in there games massage gun all that is youtube stuff and that's my little closet so then i have this little area that serves as like honestly kind of serves as a dresser i keep socks in here underwear bras and underwear these are work shirts, which need to be kind of refolded, but whatever. <laughs> and then work pants in here. So jeans and just 
you know, other work pants that I can wear to work. Then right here, I just keep some crystals and some shells and just random little things, earthy vibes, my sage, little fake plant. Oh, guys, I got this forever. Do you guys know what movie that is from? S is because my last name is Smith. All right, now I have the bathroom in here. This is my favorite hairbrush, so I keep it out. And then this is just a little knick-knack storage. I just keep some, you know, nail polish, little things in here. Scrunchies, I keep a lot of hair stuff in there too. And then this is just perfumes, skincare, all of it just in here. Keep it organized, but it's still a lot of chaos. <laughs> I try to keep my bathroom pretty clean and organized. I also have my clock here. So I have to get out of bed and come all the way over here to turn it off. Pretty small, not much, but actually this is, I've always had small bathrooms and I like it for size. It's not too, too bad actually. All right, then we have my room. Here is my bed. That is my Vampire Diaries pillowcase. Rocking chair, inversion table. I have some crystals over here and a wax warmer. My room is so cute. I actually love it so, so much. My iRobot, Rim, she lives right there. And then I have my plants. That's Maverick, my money tree. And then this is Starla, my snake plant. And this is Jophiel. She almost died, but I've been reviving her. And she only like had this and this. And now she's growing a little more. So we're saving her, we're saving her. Here's my bookshelf. I have a candle, some oracle cards that I just pulled on Sunday my oracle deck. This is a tarot deck of flowers. This is a little motivational thing that I change out all the time. So we're gonna do, keep going. Here's some tarot cards that I pulled on Sunday. All good things, all good things. A little incense, and then here's that tarot deck. I got this from a wedding. I need to organize my books, but that's my little bookshelf. It's so cute. Here's my little to-do list. I honestly don't change it enough, but I like to keep positive things on there that I pretty much always have to do, so it's always a good reminder. And then here's a little shelf. I have my journal that my sister got me, meditations and mat, daily meditations. This is my devotional. Keep it pretty simple so it looks really cute. And I love sleeping masks, so I keep several of them just hanging here. Robes and like a towel. A Velcro towel. I love that. My closet. My closet is not organized. Oh, that's just miscellaneous storage stuff. This is miscellaneous box. This is my pain box, just like anything for fibromyalgia. This has clothes. This is shorts. These are comfy clothes or like work pant workout pants and shorts are t-shirts and this is hats that's my big old hat do you guys remember me wearing this all the time last year i should wear it today here is my little jewelry box that i got from pixie mood i'm so thankful i love it so much and then here is a taylor swift reputation <laughs> taylor swift reputation taylor swift eras bracelet that I got as a gift. I didn't get to go, but someone gave me an unused bracelet. We honor that right there. It's my ironing board. I love this rug. It was a gift. I love this rug. It was a gift from my mom and it's just so cute. My mom also gave me this painting it's so zen, it's so peaceful, guys. I cannot tell you how many times I've just sat on my bed, stared at it, and put my finger like this, just like she does in the picture, and just sit and meditate. So peaceful, oh, I love it. And 
that's my apartment guys I, I hope you guys love the tour I love it so much I don't like empty spaces in my apartment like giant empty spaces so before I got that coat rack there's just a big empty space right there and I don't like that but you know sometimes you have to start from the ground up and that's exactly what we've been doing here it's so cool to just see how things just all fit together and things change we're gonna do one more apartment tour in this apartment and then and then that's my last apartment tour ever well maybe not ever ever maybe you might have an apartment someday down the line but what I mean is like my next place is gonna be my house my home I'm gonna like super root there and I'm so excited for that but I'm enjoying the moment that I'm in now and this time now Living alone is something I'm really enjoying and really cherishing because I know it's not something that's going to be forever. It's just a time in my life right now and an experience I'm experiencing right now. And it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, it's really hard. It's not always easy, guys. Like most people live with other people. So that's why I really love documenting and and sharing this experience because it is kind of a rare thing especially from 10 20 years ago like how many women were living alone how many women were living alone in a big city like so i don't know i'm really proud of myself for this journey and how hard i work i work a lot of jobs um, as I'm growing my YouTube channel until this fully pays all my bills, which we're almost there. We're almost there. I really feel it and I'm just so blessed and To think like years ago, I thought I would never be able to afford an Apartment like this in the city of Nashville like I'm so close to the Titan Stadium. So I'm like not quite downtown but i'm in the city of nashville and i'm in the heart of it it's busy it's a lot there's always so much going on traffic like crazy and been in nashville now for a full year i got here a year ago july 3rd the whole journey has been such an experience there was months and so many times i just just like what is going on it really made me take things day by day and just really trust myself trust the process trust everything and know that i've always got this and that i can really make any dream come true whether no matter what that is whether i change my mind whether i want to do something else whether i want to whatever i want to do i know that i can do anything and i'm truly unstoppable and if i'm unstoppable you're unstoppable we're all so unstoppable it has been hard it's been great though i'm so proud of it so if you guys want to move to a big city a small town out on the prairie out in the mountains out on the beach whatever you want to do what is your dream you can do it and i'm living proof go back and watch my videos i never delete any of them even my very first video i can't wait to see where we're going to be in six months it's going to be january 2024 in six months and a year from now we're going to be my fifth year in youtube and that's gonna look so different like and you guys the support i love you guys literally so much so by my beautiful passions i hope you guys had a great fourth of july and enjoyed lots of family time i love you guys literally to the moon and back i will see you guys in the next vlog bye